Banking shares continued to push the U.S. market higher overnight. Consumer price index for February in China rose a faster than expected 2.7 percent in February from last year. Asian markets closed mixed Thursday and several major markets dropped after Chinese economic data. Hang Seng index inched up 0.1 percent and Japan's Nikkei was up 1 percent, while Taiwan's TIEX lost 0.4 percent and the Kospi shed 0.3 percent. China's Shanghai Composite gave up most of its early gains and closed with a 0.1 percent gain. In company news, 3D TVs are bet to become the next hot products in the electronics market these coming months. LG is in talks with British Sky Broadcasting as well as several electronics retailers in U.S. and through Europe to supply the 3D televisions during the first half of this year. Japanese giant Panasonic launched its first three-dimensional TV in the U.S. on Wednesday. Japanese real estate developer Mitsui Fudosan will build a large mall in China with Japanese trader Itochu and other Chinese firms for spring next year. It will be the first time the realtor to participate in the commercial complex business overseas. The mall will sell luxury brands at discount prices, will have a floor space of about 16,960 square meters, and will house about 100 shops. Australian miner Cape Lambert Resources has signed formal agreement to sell its 100% interest in Lady Annie Copper Project to China SciTech Holdings for about 135 Australian dollars. China SciTech paid a $5 million deposit with a further $125 million to be paid on completion of sale agreement. Cape Lambert intends to make an 8 to 10 cent return to shareholders following receipt of $125 million Australian. Air China said it will raise about 6.5 billion won via an issue of new shares, becoming the second largest Chinese carrier to announce fundraising plans this week. Air China plans to sell its new shares privately to a handful of investors and will use the proceeds for working capital and help lower debt.